Okay, we're all set. Just tell me, tell us what it is that you think is important for us to know as we go through this process. Um, this topic is very, uh, very, very, very um, emotional and um, important. Um, it's, it's a matter of, uh, it can be a matter of life and death. Um, and it, it's, it's our communication. And without that communication, uh, we are lost. Um, I was recently um, had surgery. Uh, back in November, and they said that an interpreter was coming, and both of us were sitting and waiting. No interpreter showed up. Um, so I went ahead on my own and wrote back and forth uh, with the people. Um, and just the fact that of not having an interpreter there right away uh, gave me anxiety. I was already an having anxiety over the surgery itself, let alone. Um, not having uh, communication access. And my husband can't, you know, interpret for me. I mean, it just, it, the, this made the whole situation awkward. But anyhow, as, as time went on, they kept saying the interpreter was going to show up. The interpreter never showed up. Um, uh, the surgery happened without an interpreter. And I did not, in order to communicate, I had to, you know, Look at everybody, and half of the people had their bags gown and then they go like this to try to communicate with me. I mean, I was just, I was so frustrated. And I should not have to go into a situation like that. Um, I had a new replacement um, without communication access. Um, it was a nightmare for me. And I had to interpret for Frank what they were telling me so that he could be involved. So after the surgery finished, I got out, um, the interpreter was there, right? Yeah. Finally. Finally, yeah. Um, so that's one situation. Um, another situation that happened to me um, several years ago, um, Frank had surgery. Do you remember what the surgery was about? Back. Back. Back surgery. Major back surgery. And he was and morphine and then pain and um, the interpreter that showed up uh, was deaf and um, I immediately reacted to that because there's no possible way that a deaf interpreter can hear and understand everybody that's going to be communicating with Frank. Um, so I took the interpreter out of the room politely and just said, you have to go. You're not going to stay. But, 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 but I can lip read. I can't, I can't, I can't. I said, no, you can't. Out. Now. And it ended up being because, you know, everything was uh, in the process of happening at that moment that we didn't have any communication assets, none. So I had to interpret for Frank um, because it was too late to call an interpreter. Um, so those are my. My two big uh, complaints. I know I have many more, but and I just have a strong heart and feeling for um, all the people um, that you've seen today and out in the world that just don't have that communication access or the ability to speak up for themselves. Um, it's a silent uh, majority and minority, I should say, and they just accept, 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 because they. They don't know how to fight, and we are the ones that have to fight for them. And so this is a very, very, very important topic, and they, they need us to help. Yeah. Ah, good job, Betty. I was watching for months and became a fan. Okay. Watching so much, I became a fan. It's just that um, I'm an AFL. I'm an Arizona instructor here at KBCC, Kalamazoo Valley Community College. I train interpreters to be. I train those interpreters to be. And I, I instruct my students to be certified. I instruct my students to become important. certified. That's important. Uh, the deaf community wants the certified The deaf community wants certified Not, interpreters. 
unqualified interpreter. Not unqualified no. interpreters. Misunderstanding, not good clarification. Misunderstandings, not good clarification. So that's why I may, I remain in the teaching profession. That's why I remain in the teaching profession. No. And I strongly support um, the idea of having a live interpreter. I've never had the experience with the VI, but I've heard many, many complaints people not being able to understand or have difficulty with the eye. And I think a, a, a live interpreter is more uh, personable and it's more right there in front of you. And they're, they're there with you when, when you arrive to check out versus VRI temporary. Hi, I'll dance. And then, you know, you're lost after that. Right. Just like we're saying, VRI. Once that TV goes off, you're on your own. No, I'm, I'm here to schedule a next appointment. So I'm here to schedule the and next appointment? There's no I wouldn't even understand the receptionist. The receptionist. And it's a struggle, you know. That's a struggle. It's just like a light switch. It's like a light switch goes you're on. You're out of here. You're out of here. Yeah, and it's a matter of our dignity and feeling um, you know, equal to everybody else in this world. And so many times we don't feel equal. And it's it's very difficult for this population. All right. This is good. This is good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.